Hey LEGO fans, it's Mike the Bricks Nerd, and today I've got one of the Ninjago sets to review. It's number 70505, Temple of Light. Comes with 565 pieces. You get five minifigures, Sensei Wu, Lord Garmadon, a scout, a swordsman, and then you get Lloyd the Golden Ninja. And this set costs about $70 US. And to look at the back of the box, you get the golden mech in this set, and he is stored at the temple, and you bring the four elemental blades to the temple to release him. Um, this also has a trap door, and the temple does open up. You do get the four elemental blades in this set also. Okay, so let's unbox it and see what's inside. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like we get one... Two, three, four packs. You've got one base plate, and they put some instructions and stickers in this nice little package here. So we'll open that. And you've got instruction guide one. Uh, instruction guide two, and you also got some stickers. Okay, let's build this. completed set. Now let's take a look at all the details. Okay, so here is the golden mech. We'll take a look around him. He comes with the big golden sword. You have the cockpit up here where Lloyd sits. 
you can adjust this up here, make it low, make it high, open it up so you can get him in and out. Um, you have full range in the arms, you got double joints so they will move all over. Over here you have the big golden sword, you got hands or the fingers that will hold it. So you just kind of slide that in between the fingers and close it shut. Um, you have good range in the legs. You have the, the side to side. You have a front to back. You have movement in the feet. So those move around. Okay, and here is the temple. We'll get a look at the outside of the building. There's the side view. Inside. And then the other side view. And this opens up. So now you have easier access to the inside. And then here's a look at the temple um, with the golden mech inside it. And we'll just kind of open it up with him in there. And then here we have the elemental blades. This is where you put all the blades to release the golden mech. You have the fire, ice, the lightning, and the earth. And then also here is where you have your trap door. Now we'll look on the inside of the building. You have a weapons rack right here with a spear, a ninja sword, a sword, and a side. You've got a ladder on this side here. On the back wall, those are both stickers. You've got your gong here. And then fire pit right here. And then over on this side, you've got a plant. You also have another ladder over here. And now we'll look at the minifigures. This is the Scout. He comes with his crossbow and quiver full of arrows. He's just got the one face. And then there's the uh, printing on the back of him. And here's a look at the swordsman, comes with his sword. He's also got the shoulder armor, just the one face. And then here is Lord Garmadon, comes with his staff. He's just got the one face. And here is Sensei Wu with his staff. Got just the one face. And there's a look at the printing that's underneath his beard too. And then finally the Golden Ninja Lloyd. Here he is with his pack to carry his two uh, ninja swords. He's just got the one face. And there's a look at the back printing on him. Okay, this is a great Ninjago set. This is the Temple of Light. That is such a cool design. Uh, there's not a lot of pieces that go into this. It's pretty minimal. But when you build it and everything, it looks so cool. You've got the trap door here. Just slide this back here to open or to release that. You got the four elemental blades in this. So you bring them all together, uh, put them in their spot, and that releases the golden mech. Um, you've got uh, extra weapons in there. You got the fire pit there. Uh, it's really cool that they made this so it opens. So it's easier to get inside. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you get five minifigures in this, and the Golden Ninja, that one's cool. Lord Garmadon, uh, it's always cool to get more of the stone minifigs. And then you get Sensei Wu, so that's cool. 
Um, but yeah, the design on the temple is just, oh, absolutely love it. That's so cool looking. The golden mech. Here's something I noticed right away. If you do not have him perfectly balanced, he just flops over and falls down. Um, the joints in the feet are kind of loose on mine. I don't know if other people, you know, have the same problem, but he really just, if you don't have it perfectly balanced, he either flops backwards or he flops forwards. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Um, the design of him's cool. Uh, that looks so cool with the black or the gold and the white. I mean, it really is an awesome design. It's just the the feet, and it's just the feet. You know, the rest of the joints on him, they move, have no problem. Uh, but yeah, that's just kind of loose there, and and it doesn't hold them up very well. You got the large golden sword here, which kind of just rests in his fingers. Um, if you get to playing with him and stuff and you move it around a lot, the sword comes out. It doesn't stay in there very well. Uh, his fingers only tighten so much. So that's just something to be aware of. Yeah, see, I got to gotta balance it so it, it stays standing upright. But yeah, it's just, it's a great, great set. It was $70, so that is an expensive set. But I think for everything you get, you get five minifigures. You get a good sized building and you do get, you know, the mech, the robot with it. I think for 70 bucks, that's a good price. Um, cause there's a, there's a lot to play with here. A lot to play with it. It'll, it'll keep you busy, you know, for a long time, just playing with all the different stuff that you can do with this, having your battles. So yeah, it's definitely worth the $70, even though it is kind of expensive. Oh, I love this set. It's so cool. So I just want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next build.